My title is, What Did They Say in Brussels? And as you can see uh, in the next slide, you can see quite a lot. You just have to look at the slide to see how much activity there was going on, how much interaction was going on, how much people were saying to each other, sharing each other. And as Leo said, in a great atmosphere of trust, uh, many people there with cochlear implants, many families, but also many professionals and researchers interacting and learning from each other and also uh, enjoying themselves. So if we could have the next slide, please, Kez. The comments were amazing. And one particular comment stuck out to me. Uh, Nothing about us without us became a reality at this conference. People said it was the most accessible conference that they had ever been to. And the users and families were just driving the agenda uh, and the advocacy agenda to make the changes that we know need to happen to make cochlear implant services uh, a reality and part of ear and hearing care across the globe. Um, loved every moment. I feel inspired and energized, global, inclusive, friendly and fun were some of the comments that were made. And listening to the young people was amazing as we will see. And we've got Kez, who is um, on our screen tonight, who actually uh, led the young people's group who were there from across the globe. Thank you, Kez. Um, in order to give people the time to exchange, because for many people, English was their second, third, fourth language, uh, and we, there wasn't enough time to actually ask questions and have a discourse, uh, so we provided them what we were what we called our talking wall, talking wall to provide ear and hearing care throughout the lifespan. The key themes that came out of all the uh, communications that were across the talking wall through the two days, that we need to raise awareness and tackle the lack of information about cochlear implants. Uh, Robert Mandara's had a dreadful example in Finland recently, uh, just to epitomize the lack of information that there is and knowledge about cochlear implants. Um, we need lifelong services. It's all very well talking about access to cochlear implantation, but it's lifelong services globally that's needed for the future. People were concerned about access and support and the monitoring of quality and provision. There are in growing instances where the quality of provision isn't what it should be to maximize the benefit of cochlear implantation. Rehabilitation being key. It's not just about the technology, it's about real people. And the industry needs to invest in rehabilitation. Peer group support and effective family support, how valuable that is, how important it is, not just as an add-on, but as key to people actually participating and benefiting from their implants. Young adults came in for many comments. The young adults are the models for the youth to come. They should be providing information for parents thinking about cochlear implants. And a strong message was made in um, bold letters. Cochlear implant industry, please invest in these young adult CI users. They're the first group who've uh, born profoundly deaf and becoming part of hearing community with their cochlear implants, being both deaf and hearing. Please invest in these young adult CI users we need a working group for young CI users. Well, actually, hopefully, Kez, we've got one, <laughs> but they are the future and people want accessible services. So plenty to do. And the, Cochlear, the CI Advocacy in Action Conference was really stimulating and energizing for us all. But I do feel that the challenges are now to come. How do we keep up this momentum? How do we keep up the enthusiasm to make change happen? That's the real challenge. And let's hope we uh, get some answers tonight. Next one, Kez. The last one. So in summary, it, it really found that Kicker is an active global network. There are amazing things going on. Some of the people are here tonight. And parents and users are key to change and influencing policy, working with professionals and industry. So. CI should be part of ear and hearing care. And how do we keep up this enthusiasm? How do we support family groups in challenging situations? So uh, if you haven't joined, do join some of our kicker conversations. There are two next week, an hour, talking about one subject uh, with only 20 people and actually forming a group where they can actually uh, invigorate change and make change happen. So thanks to everybody, and I look forward to hearing the rest of this evening. Well, this evening here.
for some of you, it's morning. Thank you very much for joining us.